1929, years of booming prosperity ended in catastrophe. It was the biggest stock market crash since records began. It is impossible to underestimate the shock, a sense of stunned disbelief. First-time investors borrowed huge amounts of money to speculate on the market. The market broke very sharply, and a lot of people were wiped out with it. It was very painful. Later, thousands of banks failed. Millions lost everything. The poverty was really all around us. It was really, really pitiful. The crash was followed by a depression that spread across the world, lasted for a decade, and was a prelude to war. This is the story of a financial disaster that we hoped would never happen again. Yesterday, a woman jumped from the roof of our building, 44 floors, right past our window. I saw her body lying in the street, and the sight was so harrowing that I became half sick. The effects of the catastrophic crash on Wall Street rippled out across America. Even those who had never owned shares and who had never benefited from the stock market boom became victims too. The crash had undermined Americans' faith in their fragile banking system, made up of thousands of small town banks that lacked the size or reputation to convince customers that their money was safe. As confidence in the economy sank further, a domino effect began. In 1931, over 2,000 banks failed. After the crash, the banks closed. That, I think, was affected us a little more seriously, us, meaning us, the people of my stature. Um, many people had money in the bank, a little bit of money, a couple of hundred dollars, you know, thousand dollars maybe. There was no infrastructure then. There was no Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation to guarantee people's deposits. There was no way to back up the banks. So if the banks uh, had made bad choices, you as a depositor paid for it. You went to go get your money. It wasn't fair. The banks uh, had made bad choices. You as a depositor paid for it. You went to go get your money. It wasn't fair. And then people would hear that the bank down the street wasn't good and they worried about their own bank and then that would cause a run on their bank and it, it, it became a terrible vicious cycle. And something like 3,000 banks closed in the following couple of years after that. The whole financial system then seemed not just unstable but uh, worthless.